What we can see here is an integration of cows and worms. Uh, and we are convinced that this is the solution. Uh, people that say that cows are the problem, they are not the problem. They do something that human can, can do and process all this feed into protein and all the manure, the worms, they process. So they transform the manure of the cows in something really valuable, worm castings. So the Royal Dairy decided it was time to try to find a system that would allow them to treat their water to the point where they could keep most of it applied around the dairy as opposed to in a truck on a field somewhere else. So they contracted with Biofilter in a long-term relationship and as a byproduct, you have this worm castings product as a, as a result. All the water from the barns are flushed through the barns. They go through a series of solid separators before it's irrigated across 320,000 square feet of worm beds. It takes about four hours for the water to make its way down through the wood chips and the media. And in that time, what's happening is the worms and the microbes that are then uh, created by the worm castings or the worm poop, they digest and break down the nutrients from the liquid waste. 70 to 99% of the nutrients have been removed. And what that means now is that this dairy farmer can significantly reduce what is called his land application area because his water is so much cleaner. He essentially, in this particular operation, we've reduced the amount of methane that comes out of their lagoon by 90%. What that means is that by preventing methane from forming in the first place or greenhouse gases from forming in the first place, we're able to generate carbon credits. And so Royal Dairy is generating about seven carbon credits per milking cow, which then they're able to sell on the carbon trading market. So we're here in Royal, Royal Slope. It's a great farming community, lots of uh, slope to it, which uh, is conducive to orchards. We started in 1962. We started with the dairy business in 08. In the, in the dairy business, there's just some things that have been limiting. And one of those things has been the green water. By utilizing the worms in our green water and then utilizing the, the compost system that we have in place. It has enhanced our operation. We have seen a revenue stream in those areas, but also it has reduced our need for trucking and uh, fuel. Well, this is a chance for the dairy industry to make a large scale soil amendment product that's very desirable, very valuable, and it's specifically geared toward restorative soil practices. We know that worm castings may be the soil amendment material more rich in microbiology. And when you apply all this microbiology to the fields, basically you don't need to use more chemicals in your fields because all these microbes are able to transport the nutrients that are in the soil into the root of the plant. So the whole cycle starts to be more efficient. That's why we think the integration of cows and worm is the future and we believe in that.